Hello guys and welcome back to part 3 of the batch tutorial and um, in today's tutorial video we are going to learn two things um, that is if, else and go to and for the second thing we'll be we are going to learn how to use start, exit and the double dot so let us begin okay so start your program with echo off and um, I'm going to be showing you what if does so from the last video I showed you how to use set slash p we'll, we will be using that again for this video so I'm going to do this again as in as shown in the previous video and this time we're gonna we are going to hold on let's just do this and now we are going to add a slight twist to the code we are going to add a con um, a confirmation then we are going to ask um, we are going to do set slash p h what is your H and um, we are going to be using if here. Hold on, just gonna add some nice things here. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna ask the user for H, and this is where it comes in. So we are going to be using if percent H percent. Now um in batch uh, we can hold on I'll just do a new page for this there are a few um, other operators we can use um, so in batch we greater than we write it in this way that's for greater than for example 6 is greater than 5 uh, then in batch we also use lesser than for example 10 is less than 11 you can also do GQ that is greater or equal to for example 6 is greater or equal to um, 5 is uh, 6 I'm sorry then we, um, and um, we can use this for less or equal to for example 21 is less or equal to 20 um, uh, there are a few more but oh yeah and equal you, um, so, for example, 20 equals 20. Uh, you can also write equals as double equal, doesn't matter. In other programming languages, we um, do not use letters, we use uh, symbols. For example, it's this, and for lesser than, we use that. However, um, in batch, we use uh, words, so keep that in mind. Okay. So anyway, if percent h percent, so greater than, greater or equal than um, 15, go to um, confirm. Um, okay, what uh, the program sees here is that if the h that you um, write down is greater or equal than 15, the program will go to confirm. And um, so we'll just set up confirm with a double dot. Confirm. So, hold on. So what the program does here, it's uh, it asks for your age. And then if the age that you write is greater than 15, it will go to confirm. So it will uh, go here. And then echo, you may play the game. And then it pauses. So a double dot is like a marker. So you that you can write go to um, then the location. And um, go to uh, just pushes the program over here. So um, we can all, if the user's age is under 15, we can do this. Percent is lesser than 15. We'll go to no confirm. So you cannot play the game. So we set another marker here. No confirm. Echo. You are too young to play the game. 
min pass and min lag. So I will show you this in action. Um, so what is your name? Uh, junior. So you are junior. Um, okay. What is your age? So for example, I write 12. I'm 12. For example, you are too young to play this game. And then it exits. So, um, yep, we can use if in that way. However, if we um, do a number above 18, or for example 16, and uh, you may play the game. So now we need to put an exit over here for our program. And uh, why is that? I will show you here without an exit. What happens? You are too young to play the game. Now, why does this happen? So what the program does here is that it asks for the age and then you write 16 so it's greater than 15 so it goes to confirm and then uh, it echoes this however it also continues here to no confirm and echoes this now we don't want that so we will write exit now exit basically just closes CMD so I uh, see uh, both statements come out here if you do not write an exit so for example what is your name? what is your age so if I write 15 which is greater or equal than 15 so it will go to confirm you may play the game and it will not go to no confirm because we have written exit over here oops and as you can see the program exits um, if you do not have this the program as I showed you just now will keep on going so it definitely beats the purpose of if um, so we can um, make if more efficient by adding an else now if percent h percent is greater or equal than 15 go to confirm and then we can write else go to no confirm so this is um, a cleaner way to write code um, instead of adding two if two ifs we can add a if and an else so if you are greater than 15 you may play the game else um, if you're under 15 you can't and um, you need to put brackets here um, so then if you are greater than 15 and bracket bracket go to confirm else another bracket here and another bracket here without the brackets uh, the else command will not work I spent some time trying to figure out how to get the else command working and this is how so if yeah, um, the variable um, your statement and then uh, what is what's the program supposed to do else and in bracket what's the program supposed to do so I'll show you um, 21 you may play the game so yep this is a small introduction to if and uh, else and um, I remember promising you guys uh, to teach you how to use start. So, I'm sorry, uh, we will be showing that. So, uh, I create a new text document, for example. Let's just rename this to game.txt. And um, this is a uh, game. Okay. So, we're going to save that. And um, so, if uh, the user is greater than 15 and it goes to confirm, we will write start game dot txt just like that so when we uh, can so as the name blah 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 it's your age 18 you may play the game and it starts the game dot txt um one condition to this however is that um your batch file must be in the same location as the game it must be in the same location for example if my um, batch file is in batch workshop it will not run the game it has to be in the same directory as in the same place um, yep so just keep that in mind uh, I will teach more about start in another video mm -hmm.